Hi, good to see you this week. <laughs> this video is just a tad bit different than the rest. <laughs> Brought on by a real life event. I started to develop itching and redness in my right eye and it was underneath, felt like a grain of sand. And as I kind of popped the lid and looked underneath, sure enough, I saw a sty. And then it got worse and I was going to work and so I had to put on makeup. And then I noticed another sty. So I had dual, I had friends hanging out underneath my eyelid, just irritating me to death. And it got infected and then I woke up the next morning and my eyelid was shut. And I posted about this lovely adventure on my Instagram account right here. And lo and behold, a day later, I got 566 comments on this. Now, this is not a post that's gonna generate a lot of likes because there's really nothing to like about a grossed out eye. But what fascinated me about this was the number of responses and the number of remedies you all provided. And, and it was ironic. So many of you said, oh my goodness, I'm dealing with this right now. Try this, try that, do this, do that. So what I did was I started to compile a list of all the things that you guys were suggesting and it was starting to overlap there were some common threads and so i took that information and i went online and i searched up you know homeopathic sty eye treatments natural remedies things like that sure enough everything checked out and then some we have all dealt with this we have all dealt with eye infections that come from bacteria and dirty makeup and brushes and so forth. And I will be the first to admit here, I know the brush that did it. I know it, it was it was dirty. It was a brush that I'd been using for top lining and I hadn't washed it in, in a while. And sure enough, I started to feel the irritation the next day. That's going to be part two, is it the actual cleaning of brushes and pencil sharpeners and things like that to prevent this from happening. But since this did happen, let's talk about ways to remedy it. So many of these things you have in your home right now, if you are dealing with a sty, we are gonna nip this thing in the bud and as quickly as possible. But it's a clogged gland in the eye, an oil gland, usually from a type of bacteria. The sty presents itself as basically a pimple. That's what it is, it's disgusting, but it's a pimple that forms right along the lash line or underneath the eye. You get pain and swelling redness, itchiness, soreness, and then the crust that forms and drainage in the eye. So I had all of those things going on. And the number one thing recommended was heat, 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 hot compresses. So one thing I did have is a hot compress pack that I've had to deal with dry eyes. And there are so many hot compress packs out on the market, but this one, you just take it, you microwave it for 20 seconds. The little beads inside the eye pack warm up. And then you just strap it. There's a Velcro strap on this one. You strap it around your head, leave it on as long as possible. You know, they recommend 10 minutes at a time, several times a day. So I'll just take it. I'll go find a nice comfy chair and just chill out. I can breathe, meditate, relax, and allow that to open up the glands and allow the fluid to start coming out. Big, big help. That's, that's priority one is just getting heat to the eye and getting those glands to open to help the sty to drain naturally. Uh, one thing you don't ever want to do is to pick, poke, and prod at the sty because you can open it, but getting that out that way can lead to even greater infection in the eye. So whatever you do, as tempting as pimples are, do not be tempted to pop the pimple that's in your eye. Uh, here's another way to deliver heat and also some anti-inflammatory natural medicine, and that is to use a warm tea bag. This came up all through the thread of comments using either black tea or green tea. Black tea really works because it has antibacterial properties and decreases inflammation. Green tea has the same effect. I've got an Insta hot water heater here at my sink, so I basically just take a glass and I fill it up a little bit with the hot water. I take a green tea bag, an organic tea bag, and I just steep it for about a minute. They say you can let the bag cool. I prefer to keep the bag warm because again, it's more heat delivery. I just squeeze out the excess water from the tea bag, take the bag itself and apply it to the eye. It's recommended that you do it for about five to 10 minutes. So the bag is gonna cool quickly. I will just take it off, re-dip it in that water, squeeze out the excess and apply it again to the eye and do that over and over until you've built up about five minutes of time with the tea bag. Now another trick is you can actually take a little spoon 
that you've been stirring it with, put that spoon in the tea water, then take the spoon and the crevice part push into the eye because it fits perfectly inside the eye. And you use that because it's immediate heat and also a little bit of pressure on the lid can help loosen that sty and, and a little pressure is good to get that little pocket to open up and to release that bacteria. So you can combine it also with the spoon technique. The next one that came through um, on the feed that also verified on um, medical sites is apple cider vinegar. And you guys know how healthy apple cider vinegar is for any kind of antibacterial uh, or inflammation, any kind of infection. It really helps to fight that. So in this case, it's recommended that you put two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, again, in the hot water, mix it, and then take a cotton ball and soak that and squeeze out the excess and put that on the eye and keep the eye shut tightly because apple cider vinegar is a vinegar and it will sting if it gets inside. But leave that on. Uh, it's recommended to follow that three times a day as well to help the eye heal. So that's the heat aspect of it. Uh, the cleaning aspect is super, super important. And what came through on my feed time and time again was baby shampoo because it's no more tears. So baby shampoo has been recommended by ophthalmologists all the time to clean the eye. And so I found this one at Whole Foods and it's Honest uh, Shampoo and Body Wash and it's an organic product. So I'm using this and uh, just a wet, washcloth. You pump just a little bit on that washcloth and clean the eyelash area. The key is just to get all the dirt, debris, and bacteria out of there with something that won't irritate. So just a little bit of rubbing. Do both eyes because you don't want infection to spread and you want to keep the other eye clean too. So even though you're treating one eye, use the same approach for the other, but don't cross contaminate. So use an, another section of your washcloth, washcloth repump, and then clean the other eye as well. But it's really, really important to keep those lashes and keep the eye area super clean. Next up, and this was sent to me by a viewer, one of you, and this is OcuSoft Lid Scrub Original. It's an eyelid cleaner for mild to moderate conditions. It cleans, comforts, and refreshes for soothing relief. And you just remove, it's a moistened, medicated pad. So you just basically take this pad after you've washed your face and you use it to scrub the eye area. Do that for about 30 seconds and then you need to rinse it off with warm water. But again, this completely cleans the eye area. It has an added benefit of calming and soothing. What I will add to that is that in my case, um, I had two styes that started to form and the crusting and, and the closing. So it was clear that this thing was spreading and getting more infected. So I wound up going to my doctor and I got a prescription tobramycin um, drops to, to treat this infection in my eye. But I'm doing all of the other things um, along with this to help speed up the process. And if it didn't get infected, then I would have been doing all of these other things anyway, based on your recommendations. And the last one that I'm following it up with is something that I had here in the house, and that is uh, calendula. And I don't know if you have this, but if you ever use hydrocortisone for anything, this is your natural substitute. It's calendula cream. It's by E Organics. It's an all natural cream for um, baby eczema, baby rashes, and more. I use this if I get any kind of itch or irritation anywhere. I have ditched the hydrocortisone. It is an immediate relief for itch. So I take this and I just dip my Q-tip in a little bit of this and I run it across the top of my eyelid because what I was finding was the itch level with this thing was getting insane. And so I didn't want to get my hands in there and scratch. I really needed to tame this. This is also a very thick cream. So it didn't run or, or drip down into my lash line or cause any irritation, but it immediately soothed the eye and it kept my hands away from it, which is great. Obviously it's recommended not to wear makeup or use contact lenses, I'm kind of stuck <laughs> because I have a job where I have to have makeup on and a lot of it. I have been diligent, super diligent with cleaning 
brushes, makeup, and all of that, which is, like I said, going to be part two of this video. I'm gonna show you a lot of different makeup brush cleaners out there, ways to disinfect our uh, pencil sharpeners and all of that, and mascara, when to ditch, and, and so forth and so on, so we can prevent ourselves from getting into this situation in the first place. But since we are here, we may as well find some really good at-home remedies to deal, to speed up the process, to hopefully prevent infection in your case. Anyway, um, I can't thank you enough. I appreciate you as always for sharing. You bring such value to this platform and you know it's you are you have no idea how much you help me and how much you help your fellow woman. Because of you and your comments it created a video and for whenever we are ever stuck with situations like this at least there's a video database here on how to deal with it and um, and carry on. Any other thoughts, suggestions for anything dealing with any of this, please leave it in the comment section below. Like I said, I will see you next week with part two. Go out, be bold and be blessed. Don't be inflamed and irritated and I will see you in a week. Bye.